All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is Brother Yeroshalam coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. The name of this one is Grandma Was a Witch. All right? Grandma Was a Witch. All right? And, um, it's a video sent to me by a beloved brother all right you know um with respect to um the breast breakfast club erica alexander and um basically she goes into how her grandmother was a witch you know and basically the judgment that um that she got now you know when you understand that um witchcraft and sorcery right and and necromancy right is on the rise all right you know the sign it's a sign of the time of the time that we in we in the end right because you know you look around you know i mean home you know where where i live you know the apartment where i live the complex the apartment complex you know you know there are people there who try to work witchcraft on me and my family you know you know but through the spirit and power yeah bash me out shy the lord have them on the back foot all right so it's a real is this this thing is real right the left hand side is real right and it's full of is it's wickedness all right, it's wickedness. And the Lord said, you know, hey, let your communication be with me. All right, not with these dead spirits, you know, which recently you heard um, in Trinidad and Tobago, one of the big conglomerates, uh, that's Massey, you know, basically, um, you know, it came out that they, they commune with dead, dead spirit, dead people, you know, spirits, okay? And that's how they make decisions. But this thing is, is, is you know, it's been around a long time, witchcraft has been around a long time, you know, since back in the days, you know of king saul and king david you know but it's making a huge comeback now i have an article here before i go into the video there's an article here called the magic touch all right the magic touch now it's i think it's l.com e-l-l-e.com is it here all right magic touch okay hopefully you can see this all right and it says whether casting spells on Putin or sharing potions on witch talk, so they have something called a witch talk, right? Now we have TikTok. Modern Wiccans are on the rise. Laura Pitcher grabs her tarot cards and lifts the veil on how paganism has become the breakout religion of the decade. Now we're gonna see who who who's really um taking part in this. The woman again. It says every month at Mama Moon HQ headquarters, East London, people of all age groups. From teens to octogenarian generian Salakia gather for what is known what for what its owner Semra Hakseva describes as a kind of coven to attend you to bring an aromatic mixture of ingredients, right? And and a dish to burn some paper in. It might seem niche, but she says this is a way for women, right, who crave spirituality in their lives to dip their toe into the world of paganism by connecting with the moon's energy and casting a simple spell, right? Um, Haxeva self-identifies as an eclectic witch, meaning she doesn't follow a single tradition and instead incorporates different cultures what of witchcraft and practices into her witchcraft. It's a very inviting and accessible space for everybody, she says, describing it in terms of a new wellness trend. Witchcraft is a contemporary way for women who want to be empowered to connect with some kind of energy and i have a testimony here you know because um i had a, an old friend you know who i knew from way back in my early 20s all right you know and she you know she came and turned up you know at my work you know asking for help all right you know and um i would have given her some help and whatnot and um basically you know when i started to show her certain things on the scriptures and whatnot you know, she was saying, you know, she would want to change her life and whatnot and whatnot, you know. But then all of a sudden, you know, um, actually after the Lord showed her a sign, you know, which she got a sign, you know, she pretty much was, um, she was healed, you know, because she wanted to commit suicide. She had a suicidal spirit on her. All right, the Lord healed her. You know, I didn't hear from, from her for a while. You know, and then after all of a sudden, she called me back. All right. But before that happened, the Lord gave me a, a, a dream, a vision, you know, that, you know, as she pulled up in her car and there was another woman whispering into her ear on the back seat. All right. You know, and um, I told her the house is that way, meaning the house, meaning the truth, you know, 
and she never came all right so cut to the chase now when she actually called back all right you know and said that she got back a job and whatnot i told her you know who, who's that woman you was talking you was talking to you know and she said you know she said in a surprised voice how you know that how you know that you know but hey all praises stay abashing me or shall i reveal everything you know and i told her you know he was listening to this woman and not me and she came out and she confessed that you know she was speaking to a witch from ghana you know of course she didn't call her that she called her a so-called spiritual woman but we know it's a witch you know who, who was giving her telling her sweet things all right and she cleaved on to that all right so these women hey they're not good most a lot of them they, they're not right lord said don't deal with that so now now let's um let's bring one precept and then I'll, I'll cut cut to the video, all right. Uh, so lucky, yeah. Just bear with me a moment here. Right, it says, Leviticus chapter nineteen, verse thirty-one. It says, "Regard not them that have familiar spirits." Right, you know. Um, spirit, they're checking the spirits of the dead, necromancy, right? You know, to get information, the people and the spying, right? Neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am your power, your power. So the Lord said, stay away from that shit. Don't get yourself involved with it, all right? And basically what these women are, they're very disobedient, just like Eve in the garden, right? That's what the scripture says, woman is a weaker vessel, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19. It reads, and when and when they say they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep, right? Because that's what the woman told her to do, to seek unto them that have familiar spirits. You know, seeking unto familiar spirits and unto wizards that peep, and that mutter should not a people seek unto their power, for the living to the dead, right? Hmm. Right. And in the NLT it says, should the living seek guidance from the dead? No. No, the Lord forbid that. You know? Even uh, uh, um, the tribal Levi, you know, which are the Haitians, they've been, they've been guilty of this, you know, because the Lord said, you know, in um, is it Deuteronomy 3, chapter, you know, let your Urim and your Thurim be with me. All right? So they, they off. You know, so now, now let me play that, this video here. All right, the brother sent. My grandmother was a witch. Uh, she died when witchcraft, mm. and she had a um, a little cafe, you know, a hole in the wall, mm -hmm. and she would put dust over the door. So when people came in, the bell would ring, Oof. and dust would Oof. fall on. <laughs> they called it goofer dust. Well, right across the street was her competitor, and they would have goofer dust too. So she would go back and forth to down deep south, from South Carolina, Carolina yeah, deep, yeah, where yeah. you from, you know, and go get stronger and stronger and stronger. Goofer dust. She came back and they said she was all twisted up with her head in between her legs, barking like a dog. Demons on her. Ooh, that voodoo, that root, boy, I'm that, telling you, that's yeah. coughing up frogs. The women in the church went to go get my eventual godfather, which was William Griffith. He left three days. They uh, fast and they pray and then they come back and then they laid hands on her. They got to do it. And he says, daughter, the Lord told me to tell you that if you go back, you'll come, you'll come back in a box. No, no, Ram. I promise I gave this up. And two weeks later, they brought her home in a box. My grandmother was a witch. Uh, she Ooh. died from witchcraft. All right. She... You know, so, and that's, that's going to be all you women, you know, who want to take part in that shit. You're going to die in it. All right. And the time of judgment is coming soon. Now, let's get some precepts to back that up. And that statement up. This is the book of um, 1 Samuel, chapter 15. And we'll show you why, the, you know, first, before, first and foremost, before we, we um, go to those precepts, we'll show you why. You know, these women, you know, seeking unto witchcraft because they're disobedient. It says, First Samuel 15, verse 23, the same way how they're bucking up against a man, you know, feminism, because that, that's what feminism is. Feminism isn't anything but witchcraft. All right? You know, and as you can see how mean and how haughty these women are out here, they're full of it. It says, First Samuel 15, verse 23, it says, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness. Is as an iniquity and idolatry. So they're stubborn. Alright? They're proud. They're haughty. Alright? That's why they're going into this stuff. And, and the Lord is the Lord is making them go into to get their judgment. A lot of them are going to get their judgment, right? It says, Because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he had also rejected thee from being king. 
because um Saul Saul you know went and cleave unto witchcraft and what did he get for it he get he, he, he was punished with death all right this is um book of first chronicles chapter 10 and verse 13 it reads so Saul died for his transgression which he had committed against Yahweh Bashim Yahushai even against the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai which he kept not and also for asking counsel so he said this is the reason why he died too and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it all right so he should inquire of a familiar spirit all those things are what forbidden all right proverbs 19 and 16 because all of these all, all of it goes back to what these women and them they hate the law of yahbashim yahushai they find they find it's too lord lord too strict right they want an easier way they want a, a, a smoother way you know they, they want to um, have the cake and eat it too they don't want to be under a man of the lord all right they want to do their own thing all right but this is what happens to those who want to do their own things proverbs 19 verse 16 it says he that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul but he that despiseth his ways shall die right you're gonna die all of you who doing this shit, all of you doing witchcraft you're gonna die all right proverbs 13 verse 13 it says um whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded all right verse 14 says the law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death and you know that woman's grandmother you know she she got trapped in the snare of death she came back what in a box okay she came back in a box okay so the lord said again don't get involved in that bullshit exodus uh, um exodus 22 and verse 18 it reads um it says thou shalt not suffer a witch to live right you know Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Also, Leviticus 20 and verse 26. Um, so like here, let me go back there. Leviticus 20 and verse 26. What does it say? It says, and ye shall be holy. Yeah, you shall be holy unto me. Holy means separate, right? Don't deal with no demons, no familiar spirits, all right? and whatnot no witchcraft you know all warlocks and witches going to be put to death all right it says and ye shall be holy unto me for i yahweh am holy and i've severed you from other people that ye shall be mine now the other people of the world the heathens they practice witchcraft and that's where jake learned from and they perfected they, they did surpass the ways of the heathen all right in wickedness coming against your own brothers and sisters all right you know in all manner of wickedness you know in all manner of envy all right you're not going to remain unscathed verse 27 it says a man also or woman that hath a familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to death they shall stone them with stones their blood shall be upon them so in other words you know that that's the law of yabashim yawashai you know for you who to who, who continue to do this thing you know you, do, you don't repent you don't they're not converted all right a lot of them hear the word and they reject it and they turn onto witchcraft and said left hand side where well, you fools all right because that as an israelite that's not your forte your true strength is with your power yahweh bashim yahweh shai so because you reject the lord guess what he's going to reject you too all right and your children all right that that thus says the lord all right and that's not our, what we say and that's what the word says galatians chapter 5 and verse 19 it reads now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, which is lustful pleasures, right, sexual immorality, idolatry, witchcraft. So witchcraft is a work of what? The flesh. But the Lord said they had to be in the spirit. Okay? Hatred, variation, emu emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, right? So sorcery, right? All of that is um a work of the flesh all right now let's continue verse 21 says envyings murders which is why they some of them work witchcraft to truly the envy the envy things you have you know in my envy of family all right you know it, it can be anything wicked as which goes back to what the curse is 
It says envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before as I have also told you in time past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the heavenly father. Right? So what you, you what's going to happen to you? You're going to die. You're going to die grievous deaths. Just like we read about in Jeremiah the 16th chapter. All right? And a lot of you are not going to be buried. You're going to be just dung up on the earth. All right? So if you're hearing this, you better repent. All right? If you're hearing this, repent and change your ways. All right? Because the spirit of Egypt, you know, is, is fallen. All right? And the spirit of Yabashim Yosha is on the increase. Now, now let's go Isaiah 19 and verse 2. It says, um, in fact, I'll read verse 3. Now let's get to the point. Right? It says that the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. All right? Right, the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. Right, they're going to seek to them, but at the end of the day, it's, they're not going to win. Right, and the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord. Right, and a fierce king shall rule over them. See at Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, powerful, which is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is going to rule over you. You know, and that means what? You, it means your death. You know. When he comes at his coming, all right, because y'all, the scripture says y'all would seek, seek to, um, you know, for those who had um, familiar spirits, the wizards and the charmers, and that's what they're doing. It's on the increase, all right. But there's a judgment to that, you know. Um, let's close it off with the scripture, Lord willing. Um, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. It says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So because they think, these jakes think that they ain't been punished yet, you know, they're not going to be punished. You're dead wrong, right? You're dead wrong, right? It says verse 12, Ecclesiastes 8 and 12, Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are a shadow, because he feareth not before the heavenly father. And most of these women don't fear the Lord. Right? So what guess what? Grandma was a witch, you know, all of them are witches. You know, and for you brothers out there, you know, you know, um, watch yourself, be careful. You know who you're getting in with, you know. You know, but their judgment is coming, it's already set. Alright? I pray this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great Melson who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Next time, Abad Babal and Shalom.